it's pretty much exactly like the PC version. I mean, if you were watching this right now, you would think I'm playing the PC version. Just look at the quality. As you can see, look, you can literally have multiple moving targets. So you can practice on actual, it, where it feels like actual enemies. So you can set the duration of the 1v1 to 3, 5, 7, 10 minutes. You can get the, set the score to, you know, 5, 10, 20, no limit. Okay, boys and girls, before we actually start this video, remember I have a free $100 free cash giveaway going on right now. The link is in the description and the comments. There's only 13 days left to enter, so go there and join. Okay, so guys, welcome to the firing range in Apex Legends Mobile. So as you can see, it's pretty much exactly like the PC version. I mean, if you were watching this right now, you would think I'm playing the PC version. Just look at the quality. It looks insane. It looks absolutely insane. But they have changed a lot compared to the PC version in Fire and Range, which is actually pretty crazy. So I'm going to give you a brief uh, sort of overview of it today. So as you can see, obviously, all the targets and you've got everything pretty much the same. You've got the towers, you've got the zip lines, you've got the skull and bones, and everything the same sort of layout as the PC version. You've got one, two, three little droids as well to, to sort of practice your fire on. As you can see, they've changed around the sort of layout. So usually there's like a, a sort of weapons rack there, a weapons rack there. They've changed the weapons rack so they're all at the back of the lobby. Again, that's only a small sort of little little difference that they've changed. So um, nothing major. But as you can see, they've uh, they've put in everything sort of sort of close together, which makes it a bit easier to pick up on the mobile version compared to the PC version. But yeah, pretty much uh, similar. But the changes, guys. So the changes, the big changes, which is kind of baffling how they've added this into the mobile version, not the PC version, are these little consoles just here, okay? So this console here makes it a lot easier to switch and pick up weapons. You can simply just click on the weapon and it goes straight into your inventory. So that's actually pretty cool. You can even... Uh, equip stuff straight away you can quickly grab that quickly grab this quickly grab that put a red dot on your r301 you can pick up a shield bat if you want to so anything you like okay and then you can start you can start practicing straight away so i, I really like that it's a, it's a console that makes stuff easy to pick up you don't really need sort of everything laid out here i think they're just laying it out just so you can see what it looks like uh sort of on the ground to pick up uh, ready for the game so you can you know practice and practice your looting as well so uh, everything's very high quality they've got pretty much the same um, sort of booths and the same sort of attachments and, and armor and stuff on each sort of pedestal so that is the basically quick switch gear uh, sort of way that you can quickly pick up weapons quickly practice and uh, that's basically it so the next biggest thing which I'm so surprised why this isn't on the PC version guys okay because this is actually really a, a, a good idea to, you know, practice your aim on actual people and actual enemies, okay? So they've added this console here, which is called Target Practice, okay? So you click on that. You can either just set it to practice where target distance can be adjusted to view bullet hits. You can practice shooting standing targets. You can practice shooting slow moving targets or you can practice shooting multiple fast moving targets. So if I just sell it on the easy right now, basically it'll load, it'll say game difficulty easy, it'll show your score and the time at the top of the screen as well. So you've got 60 seconds and basically it'll add, it'll add targets. And uh, I believe, do they just disappear after a while or do you actually have to? Yes, yeah, so you actually have to shoot them. As soon as you shoot them, a new target will appear. There's one up there. So you can literally practice your aim as you go, which uh, I, I think is insane. I think that's actually a really cool idea. Um, I think you actually have to wait for the time to end before you can uh, before you can do anything. So let me just uh, let me just practice a, a cheeky craver shot. If we go back into the target practice, I believe uh, target distance can be adjusted to view bullet hits. Let's go on a normal practice one. So uh, hold on, if we exit training there, so you can actually exit training on a normal practice. So let's set that. You can put target distance. However, sort of close you want to, I put it on 20 meters. So look, it comes up with a separate target and a separate uh, droid target. So if we just shoot that, you can literally, I don't think you can actually kill these ones. So 
yeah, you can't actually kill these ones, but you can pretty much just, just practice your uh, your aim. So if I exit that training, if we go into target practice, practice again. If we pull it on 60 meters, uh, there we go. Then it will literally, yeah, it'll pull it all the way at 60 meters. So you can, you can practice your target pretty much uh, as far away as you want to, which uh, I love. I think this target practice is sick. As you can see, look, you can literally have multiple moving targets. So you can practice on actual... It, where it feels like actual enemies, so I think that's sick. I think that's absolutely sick. Okay, so on the target practice as well, guys, you can actually set a uh, set custom sort of modes as well. So you can have the dummies to, you know, stand, run, sprint. You can have the HP on them to be unlimited or, or common. Um, you can have the movement speed to be common, crouched or aim. You can set, you know, shields for each one if you want to give them blue armor, purple armor, and so forth. So... Target practice, there you go. I think that's absolutely insane. Now, and then lastly, guys, so this is an incredible feature where it actually baffles me why this isn't in the PC version. 1v1 modes, okay? So as you guys know on PC, okay, let me let me just run up to where usually people have a 1v1 mode. So I believe it's just uh, just up here. Give me a sec. So this rock right here is pretty much the 1v1 rock. You have one player that stands on this side, one player that stands on the other side as well, and you're basically 1v1 and you're not allowed, not allowed to sort of leave this little zone just here, this little rock. So basically... The developers at Respawn Mobile have added an option for free-for-all where it says here you'll be able to battle your teammates and the player with the most knockdowns in the given time win. So go all out and compete with your teammates. So you can set the duration of the 1v1 to 3, 5, 7, 10 minutes. You can get the, set the score to, you know, 5, 10, 20, no limit. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anyone in the lobby right now to play with, but I did actually do some 1v1s with... Uh, with Imo as well, uh, a friend of mine. So I'm going to show you that next, but I think that's insane that they've actually added a personal 1v1 mode in firing range because we know how popular 1v1s are. A lot of people go there to show off, fight each other, 1v1 to see who's the best on, on Apex. And yeah, they've uh, it's, it's pretty crazy that they've added that into the mobile version. So it would be good to see that in the actual PC and console version as well, but it just shows that they're really, really like... Uh, bringing next level stuff to the mobile version, next level graphics, next level firing range. Um, it just excites me to see what sort of limited time modes and stuff they bring as well. But that's basically fire and range, guys. So there's not uh, too much else to show you. I'm actually going to end the video showing you guys some 1v1s that, uh, that me and Imo did with the Krabers. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's fire and range. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you hit a sub and hit a like as well. Make sure you join the $100 giveaway, um, which is the links in the description and the comments. There's only 13 days left. So make sure you join that. It's a free $100 cash giveaway. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with some uh, fun 1v1s that me and Imo did. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, boy! Right, score. We go 10 score. We'll do 10 minutes. Is it only Krabers? Only Krabers. Krabers yeah. Red Armor, yeah? That's it. Right, cool. Oh, nice. Dropped. It just respawns you straight away. Let's go. Respawns you where, though? Same spot. Did I... I killed you as well, didn't I? No, you hit me. You Did you hit a headshot? Shot yeah, two headshots in a row. Lucky git. <laughs> where the fuck is it? Where... Where's it spawned you? It's my headshot. Where was you? Bitch. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, I well, see shot. I see you. Fight you shot. <laughs> oh, okay. Where was that from, bro? Hmm? 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 I don't know, but I'll keep zooming into these bots, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, mate. There's no way. Mate, where the fuck is these shots coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Can you genuinely not see me? Nah, man, I haven't got a clue. What the? Nah. Nah. How are these not hitting, bro? They're like on you. <laughs> Thank you.
Mate, where are you? Like, eh, eh, yeah. eh, 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 eh.